Hey everyone, let's take a look at how we can solve this problem. So we have y equals 1 half log of 1 minus cos 2x over 1 plus cos 2x. And we're trying to prove that dy over dx is equal to 2 cosecant of 2x. And I've given you two hints over here. If you want, you could pause this video and give this problem a go. So I'm going to go over the solution right now. Now, when I first saw this problem, I thought immediately that we have to start taking the derivative of this. And that's not how you should usually approach these more complex derivative problems. We always want to simplify the equation first and then take the derivative. So that is exactly what these hints are helpful for. They're not helpful in finding the derivative, but instead they're helpful in simplifying this equation. So let's see how that is. We know that we have 1 minus cos 2x. Let's take a look at this hint over here. We know that 2 sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cos 2x. Just rearranging it. That is the numerator. For the denominator, 1 plus cos 2x. Cos squared x is equal to 1 plus cos 2x. So we have 1 plus cos 2x here and 1 plus cos 2x in the denominator. Let us substitute them. So we have y is equal to 1 half log of 1 minus cos 2x, which is 2 sine squared x, over 1 plus cos 2x, which is 2 cos squared x. We can cancel out the 2s, and we know sine squared x over cos squared x is tan squared x. Now I think we have simplified enough, so let's actually start taking the derivative. We know we need to apply chain rules, so we have dy over dx is equal to 1 half, that is a constant chain rule for this part right over there, and that is 1 over tan squared x, and multiply that by the derivative of tan squared x, which is going to be 2 tan x, chain rule over here again, secant squared x. Let's simplify this. So the tan x and the tan x, one tan x gets cancelled, there's a tan x left at the bottom. We know this two and this two can cancel. But this isn't our final answer, that's not what we're trying to prove. We're trying to prove that the derivative is 2 cosecant 2x, not this. So we have to simplify it a bit more. I know that secant squared x is 1 over cos squared x, and that tan x is just sine x over cos x. Rewriting this. Now I'm going to simplify this. Now this isn't also what we're trying to prove, but let's actually multiply top and bottom by 2 and see where that takes us. We know that the denominator is just sine 2x. Rewriting this, and that is exactly what we were trying to prove right above. 